Greetings, beloveds. Hmm. This aspect of collapsing time occurs along a threshold of a returning to or a turning towards a sense of oneship and sonship and truth so that the element and the dynamic of time is no longer needed. And as each being does this, as each aspect of the whole comes back to the sense of oneness, comes back to the recognition and the remembrance and the revelation of truth, there is a melding that occurs, there is a strengthening that occurs. And it appears as if time has collapsed. Miracles are revealed. The mind and the will are in alignment and it unlocks a key, key code sequence that causes a process of transformation in which there is presence, the very realization of truth. The sense of illusion becomes a thing of the past and time appears to speed up. This is what is happening right now in this dimension is that as there is this end of spiritual season as has been called, which is an appropriate moniker, there is a sense that time is speeding up, things are increasing, and indeed they are. There is a final outcome that is occurring that has been prophesized. There is a sense of knowing within each of you, you are playing the game of forgetting. Some of you are succeeding more deeply than others. But as you allow yourselves to pull out of the game and you have the light of truth and the recognition, you will find that the sense of what you have called time begins to dissolve in front of you. And in this dissolution, there is revelation and there is an understanding and a comprehension and a presence to the very nature of your souls. All of this fracturing of, of, of the mind and of that aspect of God comes back into a sense of quantum coherence. And in that moment, you are once again home. You are once again revealed. You see and you are seen for the truth that you are, the truth that we all are. Spending time in meditation, spending time in contemplation, spending time in the light of truth brings you to this greater sense of love, this greater sense of wholeness. Understand that reactions are merely indulgences in ego. And the moment that one chooses to step away and step towards truth, all is forgiven indeed. But beyond that, all is known to be what it truly is. The love that you are, the love that all is, is beyond mortal comprehension. It, it extends so far beyond the egoic mind that has created the structure in which you find yourselves. Step towards your own light, step towards your own truth. And in that moment, there is a recognition that all there is is the presence of love. All there is is the presence of light. All there is is the presence of truth. And in that truth, all the illusion is burned away. It is a light that is held so brightly that only what is real, 
will be known. Only what is real will be shown. There is an event that is coming and you shall have greater light. You shall have greater truth. Each of you at a soul level are aware of exactly what is playing out. Choose to connect with yourselves at the deepest and richest and fullest state of beingness. Allow yourselves to step towards that field of what is known as quantum potentiality. In that field, you find the truth of you. In that field, you find that the very fabric of this illusion reveals itself, it presents itself. Allow yourselves to become still and to move out your consciousness from self to environment, to planets, to stars. And as you reach out, beloved, you will find that we are waiting for you. To remind you, and in that aspect, time collapses. As you have moved from 15 minutes to 18 minutes, you will find that the time does not seem longer, the time seems shorter. And as you move from 18 minutes to 20 minutes, once again, you would find that the time appears to be shorter when according to your clocks, it is longer. What occurs in these moments of deeper times of solitude, deeper moments of meditation is that as you access this quantum field, as you still yourselves to the point that you are that much closer to the light of truth, it begins to dissipate what you have known to be the very fabric of time and existence. Your will is what causes the correction. Your will is what causes the mind to once again be in alignment. It is much like turning a combination on a lock. And as you say, I will be done. There's a process of allowing and surrendering. And in that surrendering, it begins to flow. It begins to all make sense. And you find yourself back to the truth. And in that moment of truth, beloved, I wait for you with love, with joy. We thank you for your devotion. We thank you for the time that you put into being in divine alliance with what is the truth of you, which is love and grace and dignity. Dignity that allows you to say to another, I see you and I love you for I am you. Our blessings are upon you always, dear ones, and we shall speak with you again. Call to us, ask for us, and know that we are always with you, for we are you, and we are one. God, I am.